When is St. Patrick's Day and why do we celebrate it? When is St. Patrick's Day, you ask? Here's the scoop on this festive Irish holiday. St. Patrick's Day 2024 is almost here, which means you're probably starting to think about what green clothing you have in your closet and what Irish movies to watch. Or maybe you're Googling how to make Irish soda bread and other St. Patrick's Day recipes. But before you head to your local parade or embark on any other St. Patrick's Day traditions, you may have a few questions like, when is St. Patrick's Day? And what's the history of St. Patrick's Day? We've got those answers for you, along with fun ways to celebrate St. Patty's Day this year. What is St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day marks the festive celebration of St. Patrick, the beloved patron saint of Ireland. Initially, the holiday was all about religious observances, but over time, it evolved into a secular tribute to Irish culture, especially after Irish immigrants brought their celebrations to the United States. This happened as early as 1762, which also marked the first year of the St. Patrick's Day Parade in New York City. When is St. Patrick's Day? St. Paddy's Day is celebrated annually on March 17th, the anniversary of the death of St. Patrick in the 5th century. But more on that later. It's worth noting that St. Patrick's Day always falls on the 17th, meaning the actual day of the week changes each year. For instance, St. Patrick's Day was on a Friday in 2023 and St. Patrick's Day 2024 falls on a Sunday. While St. Patrick's Day is officially observed on the 17th, celebrations may not be limited to just this day. Is St. Patrick's Day a federal holiday? St. Patrick's Day is not considered a federal holiday in the United States, but is still widely observed throughout the country as a celebration of Irish culture. Schools and businesses will still be open as usual. In Ireland, St. Patrick's Day is considered a public holiday, meaning schools and offices shut down for a day of celebration. What is the origin of St. Patrick's Day? Records show that the people of Ireland have been celebrating St. Patrick's Day since the 9th or 10th century and observing it as a Roman Catholic feast holiday. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated to commemorate the life of St. Patrick on the anniversary of his death, March 17th. But the very first St. Patrick's Day parade actually took place in America in 1601. As the Irish population in America grew, so did the St. Patrick's Day festivities. Since St. Patrick's Day falls during the Christian season of Lent, the Irish would typically attend church in the morning and then celebrate the holiday in the afternoon. The sacrifices made during Lent were renounced during this time so people could eat, drink, and dance. Who was St. Patrick? St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland, best known for bringing Christianity to the land during the 5th century. He was born in Roman Britain and was kidnapped at the age of 16 to be brought to Ireland as a slave. After escaping, he used those challenging years to discover his Christian faith before returning to Ireland to bring Christianity to its people. Legends surrounding St. Patrick's death grew as time went on and his life became more embedded in Irish culture. The most well-known tale about St. Patrick is when he explains the Holy Trinity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit using a shamrock with three leaves, how to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. As the saying goes, everyone's a little Irish on St. Patrick's Day. So let the bountiful activities begin, from sharing St. Patrick's Day quotes to telling a good old St. Patrick's Day joke. There are various activities that are perfect for your St. Patty's celebration. Whether you're planning a joyous bash with loved ones or spending the day reflecting on Irish history and contributions, attend a St. Patrick's Day parade. A fun and family-friendly way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day 2024 is to attend a local parade. If you live in the New York area, you have likely heard of the New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade. This parade is actually the oldest civilian parade in history and the largest in the United States, with more than 150,000 attendees. You also may have heard of the annual celebration in Chicago, when the Chicago River is dyed green, or any of the smaller parades in Boston, Savannah, and Philadelphia. Check your local news to see where the closest parade is to you. Wear green. If large crowds aren't your thing, there are plenty of ways to keep your St. Patrick's low-key, like wearing green on the 17th. Put on a green sweater, t-shirt, hat, or other article of clothing to show your festive spirit. If green isn't your color, no worries, you could sport other St. Patrick's Day colors instead. Throw a St. Patrick's Day party. Gather with loved ones and celebrate St. Patrick's Day Emerald Isle style. Serve traditional Irish recipes for guests, like Irish soda bread or corned beef and cabbage. For dessert, bake something yummy and festive, like leprechaun cookies. And don't forget to go all out with St. Patrick's Day decorations by decking out your home in DIY four-leaf clovers and shamrocks. Learn about Irish culture and history. The Irish have a rich culture and history that developed over thousands of years. Learn more about their layered culture and history on St. Patrick's Day by reading books by Irish authors. 
watching a documentary, listening to a podcast, or reading an article from a reputable historical source online, knowing about what and who made Ireland what it is today gives more context and appreciation to the holiday and culture. Cook an Irish-themed dinner. Slante. What's a lively celebration without a hearty and delicious meal? Fuel your St. Patrick's Day festivities with delicious traditional Irish recipes like beef stew, shepherd's pie, and coal cannon. Your taste buds will thank you. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Remember to subscribe and like this video for more insightful voyages.